All right, we are live, guys. What is going on, all you people out there online? Welcome to another video. It's Brando Linux here, and today I want to talk about entrepreneurship, business, just some ideas and uh, notions I want to give you guys. Having studied a lot of other people out there in the business space, like Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Gary Vaynerchuk, Grant Cardone, um, you know Caleb Maddox. There's a whole bunch of people out there that I absolutely. Uh, enjoy listening to, enjoy studying, and that's pretty much where I got the inspiration to kind of shoot this video and just give you guys some practical tips that you could easily Google, but you know, you want to check this out, so what the heck. Um, anyway, we're talking about stocks, we're talking about business, and the reason why I want to talk about stocks, guys, is this is something I got encouraged to do by my dad um, back when I was like 15 years old. You know, we watched, uh, I forget what movie it was, I think it was the old Wolf on, Wolf on Wall Street movie. And um, you know, watched of other a lot of you know stock market movie, movies, and I always fantasized about you know making it big on the stock market. And uh, I today I just want to put this disclaimer out there: I'm not your stock market guru, I'm not your expert, um, but I want to put this into simple sense that made sense to me, that made me dream really, really big at a young age. That my dad shared with me, that you know other business you know entrepreneurs shared with me, like Tony Robbins, not personally, but by reading his books and one of his main books that just came out. And I figured, what the heck, why not share it with you? But, you know, penny stocks are a big, big commodity out there, meaning that there's not as much risk for a person, which is very, very awesome. And the por portfolios of businesses, it's very easy to kind of determine because it's penny stocks, you know, uh, how strong they are going to push through and how much money you make and how much money you can make. As a hypothetical example, we'll use simple numbers here. If you invest, you know, 10,000 shares, all right, if you buy, or I should say, if you invest into 10,000 shares, and let's say it is 25, 30, let's say it's like 30 cents, okay? Let's say you take 10,000 shares from a company, a portfolio you studied, you did your research, you did the math, all right, you, you looked at it, you said, okay, I'm gonna invest three grand, I'm gonna buy 10,000 shares at like 30 cents, all right? So the shares are at 30 cents, okay? And this is a really strong portfolio. You're looking at the economy. You're looking at the growth of the company, their structure. You're looking at the future of it. And it's just something that absolutely makes sense. And it could be something small like a clothing line, a boating company, right? It could be a new technology. It could be anything. All right. But you, you invest 10, you buy 10,000 shares, you invest $3,000. It's 30 cents a share. All right. So it costs you three grand. And let's say that the shares jump to a dollar. So they went from 30 cents down here all right there we go they went from 30 cents down here and all of a sudden they're up here at a dollar that means you doubled your money you made about seven thousand dollars a little over seven grand all right so you invested three thousand dollars in ten thousand shares when it was at 30 cents a share and then after like you know maybe it could be like two months three months if there's something big going on in the portfolio of the company you know, you can determine of if it's a really good investment, you can make some money really quickly, a good ROI, then you can do that. But you invested three grand, all right, and your stock absolutely doubles. A little bit more than doubles, all right, but it hits a dollar, all right, so it goes from 30 cents to a dollar. Well, you've made, altogether, it'll be about like seven, seven thousand two hundred dollars all right, a little bit more than that. But I hope that makes sense, and you can take that example, really simple example, uh, that gets overused out there online but a really simple example and you can take that and apply it to anything but ultimately how much money you make is determined by you studying the marketplace all right looking at the economic marketplace all right seeing what people are doing trends all right because trends come and go and when you really get good and you don't have to invest a lot of money you don't have to spend three grand all right you can spend five hundred dollars i would encourage you save some money and just play with it a bit. Spend $100 on one, spend $100 on another, study it, all right? You're only gonna get better as you fall down and scrape your knees and you get back up. But that's the cool thing with penny stocks. Um, you can start off small and you can win a little bit big. You know, spending 100 bucks and then making $1,000 off of 100 bucks, that's a really big deal. And if you can do that and practice that, then you can begin to do it every week, then every, every day, all right? And then you can have yourself some financial success. And some guys that I would encourage you guys to study is a loose house. Um, and Moose House is also somebody that has a trusted advisor with him. I forget his name. He's a really big guy in the penny stock marketplace, but I would just encourage you guys to study him. Not a plug. I'm not affiliated with him. But that's my take on it, guys. So I hope that gives you guys an idea of the amount of money you can make. Because when I learned this stuff when I was 15, I just like my mind exploded. I was like, oh my God, if I can save up that much money and I can study a good portfolio, 
I can make that much money. And if I can do that like once every single month, oh my God, I'm set for the rest of my life, right? I'll, I'll never have to work, work a job or have a boss ever again. So I was absolutely fantasized in that. Uh, unfortunately, stocks wasn't my thing, you know, it just wasn't my thing. But online business, doing internet marketing, selling digital products and services on the internet as an affiliate, it ended up being my thing and allowing me to create financial freedom and success on the internet since 2014. So I was able to find my other path. So I encourage you guys, go out there, try it, fall flat on your face, study people who are, you know, experts. It's the best thing you could do. And um, be open-minded and don't be afraid of loss. That's all about what business is, all right, so you can get better. And you got to be okay with that. Don't look at it as taking away. Look at it as a learning lesson to get you to that next level. So I appreciate you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did putting together for you. A little bit rambly, but I mean, that's like all my videos. And um, in ending out, my little plug, if you guys want to find out more about how to build a business online, not through stocks, but more so like just being your own entrepreneur on the internet, being able to be your own boss. If you're interested in that, then I have a link down below to my training series. It's five videos. I walk you through the ins and outs of how I was able to go from working as a baker in a restaurant to three months later creating a full-time income business online, not doing stocks, but doing internet marketing, affiliate marketing online, selling products and services through the internet but attracting people to them, so not really selling. So if you want to learn more about that, go check it out. Other than that, guys, I am out. Peace.